I've already spoken with Senate Majority Leader Andre Stewart-Cousins, Speaker Carl Heasty, labor, business, faith leaders, other state elected officials, as well as our tri-state governors. I look forward to working with each and every one of them and all of you to build on the progress that we've already started. Over the next two weeks, I will continue meetings with current and potential cabinet officials. I'll build out my senior staff, and I'll do what I've always done. I will travel the state to meet New Yorkers, to listen to them, to assure them that I've got their backs. And I will take their concerns and bring them back to our state capitol and work with our partners in every level of government to come to solutions. People will soon learn that my style is to listen first, then take decisive action. So in 13 days, I will officially become the 57th governor of the state of New York. And shortly thereafter, I look forward to delivering an address to all New Yorkers to lay out my vision for the great state of New York. But make no mistake, our work has already begun. And I know this year and a half has been so challenging for families and businesses across our state. And sometimes it doesn't feel like it's getting any easier. The Delta variant is still raging, and it's going to take all of us to defeat it. Our children are heading back to school soon. There's a lot of anxiety from the moms and dads I speak to, and the teachers as well. It's going to take all of us working together to keep our children safe, our teachers safe, and anyone who works in a school safe. Small businesses are just starting to bounce back into an uncertain world. We need to reassure them that they'll be OK. And our workers are once again debating whether they should even go back to their jobs, or go back to their offices, go back to their factories. Is it safe enough? But I know New Yorkers. They are hardwired to persevere and to prevail. And the promise I make to all New Yorkers, right here and right now, I will fight like hell for you every single day, like I've always done and always will.